Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a great day in Cleveland because I'm going to jump on our 2023 BMW S1000 RR that we're using for season 11 of the new bike build series. I'm going to ride that sick savage bike up to sales motor sales where Zach, the master mechanic, is going to install a very special part sent to us by our good buddy Miami Manny and Moto Million. This part is going to make that machine look absolutely more stunning and epic than it does right now. This is leading up to us offering that machine to one of you outstanding viewers for viewing the video. Information on how you can win one of our new bike build series machines is always the first link in the description of our videos. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and for returning subscribers, tap that bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. I want the sun to come back out so it can shed light on these beautiful PBM World Superbike Spec aluminum forged wheels that are on this machine. I think they make the bike look amazing and they shed six pounds of weight from the bike when it was stocked with its forged BMW wheels. I think that's extremely significant, but more so than that is just how amazing these wheels look and make this bike look really distinctive amongst the crowd of very popular S1000 machines. But guess what guys, Zach, like I just said, is going to install something right now that's going to make that bike look great. Hey, so uh, you just rode the bike in and got it all nice and toasty hot so we could work on the engine. Sorry! <laughs> no, it's all good. Hey, it's finally nice outside. I don't yes. blame you one bit. Yes. I rode in myself today. No, I was nice. just switching. Uh, you are complaining that all your other bikes were GP shift and it was hard to remember to shift regularly. So yes. I know you don't plan on riding it that much, but it's only one screw to switch this to GP shift. So I literally just moved the rod from here to there and nice. you're good to go. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Zach. But yeah. what we are going to do today is actually cool and something we've never done before. Yes. Uh, we've turned this clutch cover gray. We've turned it black. <laughs> it's been an ugly gold. And today <laughs> it's going to be clear. Beautiful, yes. So there's actually some detail in here because we mm -hmm. our shift rod runs through here. You just can't see it. We're going to have to pull this uh, sticker off. Of course, part supplied by Moto Million. That's why it's got the sticker on it. Yep. It looks really nice. We got billet aluminum on the outside here. It's uh, beautiful. It's really made is. by Duck -a Bike. So they've been making these clear clutch co covers forever. So I don't expect any issues. Yes. Hopefully we're good. It does have uh, the seal and the bearing and the other bearing down here already installed, so it's nice. We can nice. just move our push rod over. I yeah. did notice they didn't put a clip on the seal, but they must have figured it's all right. And then along with this, uh, be careful if you order this part. I was gonna re, I went and got factory screws. They actually do not fit. So then I kept digging and digging. Yeah. Sure enough, there was a set of hardware underneath this piece of foam nice in the bottom of the box yeah and uh, these are the only screws that'll work they can't have any width to the head at all okay so and they're steel so they're reusable this is new enough i don't know though now that it's hot but we should be able to reuse our clutch cover gasket and then uh we also got this cool part it's just gonna bolt to the outside of the clutch and i'll show you it's so okay. you can see that this will spin oh yeah so it gives it a little color it actually has no performance enhancement whatsoever it's all visual these are aluminum screws, so they're recommended one-time use. I'm going to grab a pair of gloves. Hopefully that stays. Okay. Came off nice and easy. So we'll check it with the rod in it and I guess the gasket on it. It doesn't really weigh much. We have got just under two pounds. If you okay. want to go scope that out. Yes, I do. Yep. So then this piece right here is going to go right here. So we have to take these screws out. These screws are what hold the spring pressure on. Whew, starting to get hot. Okay. Got to speed it up. All right. Good, it looks like it lines up. Gonna use the supplied hardware. It looks pretty cool, huh? It does, is that gonna be visible? Yeah. Wow. Because we have that clear cover, so. That's gonna be beautiful. This is what we're gonna see spinning. Factory torque spec is 10 Newton meters. Okay. So we'll stick with that. It looks like, I mean, it's the same thread pitch screw. Oh, so we do have to pull off that sound deadening stuff so we get a better view of the rod. So now you can see we got our actuation rod and our spring. We're just gonna move that over. Okay. 
to the new cover. Take this cover, let's see, without the rod, two and a half pounds, so half pound heavier. Okay. This rod isn't that heavy, maybe three quarters of a pound. Trim ring comes off. And we got a piece of plexiglass. So this is what it's gonna look like once we get the glass there. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, very. Uh, let's get this on and then uh, we can pop that piece on while it's on the bike. Cool. Saved? Saved. Nice. All right, so I like to take just a little bit of sealant and put it just where the crankcase split is. Okay. And a little up top. It'll just help hold our gasket in place. Just a tiny bit. And then there should be these locator pins that usually stay in the engine. Between the, between the pins and the little bit of sealant, it should hold this in here. So now we got this nice handle we can hold this by. That's kind of cool. We want to make sure that <coughs> this cutout's facing the back of the bike because that needs to engage into this rod. So that's really the only tricky part. Nice. We have fitment. It looks like they even give provisions if your clutch cover becomes stuck to the motorcycle, which would be kind of odd. Okay. You see these holes here are threaded? Yes. And one more down here. So if you took a big bolt that was that size, this is probably a that's probably a six, that's probably an eight. If you took an eight millimeter bolt, you could use it and it would help bring the clutch cover off. Okay. If it were to get stuck, which really is never an issue, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. Always nice when a company's thinking ahead. Indeed. So far it's looking pretty sweet, right? It does, it really does. So definitely looking nice. Oh yeah. I like the pressure plate piece that's in there. It's beautiful. Let's get our clutch cable hooked back up. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm actually disengaging the clutch and that gives me slack in the cable. So that hopefully I can get it hooked in there like that. And then when I operate the clutch lever, you can see how the clutch, right now the clutch is engaged and then when you operate the lever, it's disengaged. Yes. You see that yep. movement? Yep. So it puts space between all the plates. Gotcha. So kind of cool that you can see that firsthand. Not, still got to take the clutch cover off though to change any clutch parts because this is right in the center. So it yes. doesn't really save any time on maintenance, unfortunately. That's always cool when that happens too. So uh, thanks to your help, we got the white stuff peeled off. Yeah. Now we got our O-ring in. The heat has already transferred into our new clutch cover. Oh, you feel it already? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Never really one for just cosmetic mods, but yeah. that looks pretty cool. Yes. I like it, I like it. H3. Oh, we do have it right here. 5.5 .5 Newton meters, awesome. Okay. 5.5 I mean, Newton. missed it the first time. It's pretty, it's not that tight. Is that gonna beep at you when it gets to 5.5? It's gonna beep. Okay. There we go. We are pretty much there. 5.5 Newton meters. Cool. Love it. All right. Now I feel better. All right. So we got the clutch cover installed. And as you can see, there's a little oil residue on it because uh, yes. we did one of those behind the scenes again, where if yep. you go over to the Patreon website and you join in, you get to see some stuff before you can actually see it on YouTube. And uh, the, all your comments get read there because it's a much smaller community, so we can actually read them all. And, and if we're we got a question, to reply to all of them. 100%. Yeah, yeah. If, Eb, if it's something that you're asking me, Eve usually sends it to me, and we get an answer to you guys. Yep. So uh, go check that out if you haven't. But let's see what this looks like spinning right now. <laughs> it slowed down. Yeah. Yeah, when, you, when he pulls the clutch, so it slows down. It. Engage, disengage.
I guess you'll know when you need an oil change. Yes, it starts getting right, dark. There won't be any oil in there. I mean, that's pretty fresh oil, and it's already like, yeah. oh, what are you running in there? <laughs> Okay, why did it stop, Zach? So when you put it in gear, it loads up the transmission enough that it stops the inner clutch hub from spinning. Okay. And then when he puts it back in neutral, which he didn't find. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it doesn't have enough uh, resistance on it, so it just spins the plate even though okay. it's disengaged. But yeah, crazy how much oil goes up in there, huh? Yes. Never would have uh, suspected that. Yeah. But, uh, Looks like everything's sealed up well. Yes. Oil levels are good. I see the sight glass there. It looks yep, good down oil there. Oil level's good, but mainly it's not leaking anywhere from yes. either this O-ring surface, the seal around our shift shaft, or uh, the gasket surface. So that's nice. important. I think I'll go take it for a quick ride before we Please send do. you home on it. Yes. Just to make sure that there are no leaks. And then uh, we'll call it a part install. Okay. So yeah, something different. Hope yep. you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one. You got it, Mr. Zach. I can't stop staring at this beautiful bike. With its new Duke bike clear clutch cover from Moto Million, this thing looks amazing, guys. It really is nice. Absolutely no issues installing this, not leaking at all, and it is just really, it really adds to, <laughs> to the already stellar beautiful red 2023 colorway on this machine. It's available in different colors. Link to it is in the description. Head on over to Moto Million, use discount code 650EB and take possession of that mod for your S1000 R. So we're not done modifying this bike yet. We've got lots and lots of stuff to add to the machine. You know, we're gonna put rear sets on it. It's gonna get all sorts of stuff, uh, more carbon fiber, cause you can never have enough. It's gonna get a full Brimble braking system. You know how we do it over here on the 650E YouTube channel. And then once it's all done, we're gonna offer it to one of you outstanding people viewing the video. Information on how you can win it is always the first description in all of my videos. All right guys, let's fire this thing up for one last time so we can see the clutch in action.